Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, Ein Gemini Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December 23rd, 2018 And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, uh, I want to remind you once again, this is a general reading uh, for the Gemini star sign and is going to resonate in a different level for every single one of you because you do have different situations so in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and the synergy of the spread but uh, at the end making sense of them is going to fall to you as an effort now if you want your situation to be a subject of a reading you know then that is a, a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing now we are going to lay down uh, the four tarot cards for this week's spread and that is going to be an enhanced spread so we are to have a additional card per position so all in all everything looks very very good here with the Sun card coming up into a first position which is the topic of your week Gemini so it does look like that that is going to be a very very um, cheerful and happy week for you then we do have the two of swords as the core of the situation then it is the five of cups which is the challenges which are causing predicaments a little bit of a disappointment we do have here but nothing that you Gemini's cannot overcome and the last one that is going to be the princess of wands or the page of wands known in the traditional tarot deck and that is going to be the guidance so the sun card here is the topic of the week first major thing that this card says is that everything in our lives or in your lives are to start unfolding very naturally now that could be toward a positive or toward a negative end all right but regardless of how it's going to turn out at the end we are going to have much more free space to work with either way now the additional card here that is going to be the four of one so that is going to be a major week where you are to complete a, a very important cycle of development and you are going to be very happy of it <laughs> these two cards are a uh, boosting each other so they are how can i place it it's they are not friendly they are kind of like fuel to one another so it's very important with all that fiery energy here of this week december 17th to december 23rd not to burn yourself down so what i mean is that you are to complete your cycle of development now very important thing is that when i say cycle of development that that doesn't mean that you are to complete a, a major goal you are to complete a step of that major goal so to give you an example let's say that you are uh, that you do have a boyfriend or, or a girlfriend it doesn't matter so you do have a partner into your relationship the cycle of development ends and it is completed when that relationship it is brought into the next level so you may uh, receive an engagement ring all right or you may decide to live together and etc etc what the point here from those couple of cards is that a a major event that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of uh, of cheerful emotions and it is very natural for your situation is to happen so if you do receive that promotion into your career it is because you deserve it all right if you do get the girlfriend or the boyfriend you do want it that it is because you deserved it and uh, in generally these cards here the uh, four of wands and the, the sun card also are giving you the prerequisite to make a lot of friends around you but it is uh, what it is important to be said for that situation is not to go against the current that is as i said very important because the sun card as i said things are unfolding naturally here you should not struggle against it so to give you an example on the green on the green side here maybe your uh, let's say your relationship is falling apart and that will be, uh, you know, the, the natural unfoldment. You, you can save it, but it's going to be a struggle, and it's gonna, it's not gonna bring you uh, much of a, 
much of a relief all right you constantly need to keep it up and keep it up so with these cards what we do have is that you need to kind of like allow it to to develop as it is supposed to develop and even if your relationship is brought down these cards here are pointing that you are to be completely free from it so you can start you know investing your emotional state or your emotional wholeness into a completely different person so you can have the relationship that you do deserve again this week december 17th to december 23rd you gemini's are to get what you deserve or are to get what you worked for that it is the correct term that we are that we are going to use and uh, it will provoke a lot of celebrations because for some people the goal could be to break a relationship, all right? I mean, to break their personal relationship. For example, you're miserable in your marriage and you want a divorce. Well, boom, you got it here. If you work for it, of course. If you sit on your butt, nothing is going to happen. But you have to support the natural unfoldment, uh, unfoldment of one situation. The currency, the... Uh, excuse me, the core of the situation, that is going to be the two of swords. Uh, accompanied with the nine of swords so these couple of cards are pointing to the realization that things has to basically be overcome this is what these cards are pointing that uh, you do have all the necessary information you do have all the necessary insight upon your situation, marriage, relationship, project, career, you name it. And now the time is coming where you have to basically over overcome those fears you do have. For example, fear of failure, fear of breaking, and etc. etc. How this is going to happen? By you looking at the situation from a different angle. Because the Two of Swords, it does say that before you decide what to do, you have to consider all points of view and you are already considered all points of view you recognize the correct points of action and you take a responsibility for it and because you do all that now it's a time to put a stir to that situation in its natural direction and again you should not be grieved if you know you are losing things throughout that week because this is the natural way of how uh, of how your your situations needs to be developed and if you lose things they are to be replaced with much cheerful ones further down the road important to be said with these couple of cards here the two of swords and the nine of swords is that uh, you guys need to recognize that uh, how can I place it that nothing goes without consequences if I may say it that way and that's why it's very important to kind of like uh, calculate every single way how you can approach one thing either your career or either your relationship and to approach it in a such a way for yourself in order to diminish the negative consequences of one's action because there, there will be always a, a negative consequences of, of one's action but this time around you can really really diminish those um, kind of like those circumstances for yourself and nonetheless at the end as I said because we do have these couple of cards things are going to uh, end up very favorably for for yourself even if the start of the week doesn't look like as favorable as it could be at the end uh, things are really going to look like a, a very very uh, very very happy for yourself and uh, you know very exhilarating so uh, the third card that we do have for you can, uh, Gemini this is going to be the five of cups so the five of cups here is accompanied with the Empress and we do have a natural friend so what we are having in this particular position it is the uh, the, the willingness it's not really the willingness but let's say the desire not to place oneself outside of its comfort zone that is one way how these cards could manifest the other way how these cards could manifest is to receive 
the things that you have worked for, right? As we said here, that you're gonna get what you worked for and not to be happy of them. So that as well could be a predicament for yourself, not to find yourself um, exhilarated by the results of your efforts, but yet these are your efforts you are getting rewar rewards for. The five of uh, the five of uh, cups here, however, in a positive way, it does point that you should not deviate from the path that you have consciously taken. So, just to give you an example here, you know, you're let's say you're not finding yourself happy into your relationship anymore. Right? You do realize, however, that if you break that relationship, this is going to emotionally hurt your partner. So you are previously searching a way how to do it with the less possible impact upon your current partner and you have found that way you take the responsibility for it you do it you're finding yourself into a uh, uh, ending of a cycle of development which is freeing yourself from a futile relationship and um, now however you are finding yourself alone and these cards if that's your case you know i'm giving an example here these cards are pointing that you are to start feeling the negative impact of not being in a relationship you know being on your own not being capable to share not being capable if you want to say to have sex and etc etc you know but in the same time these cards are pointing that no matter how hard it seems to be for you is to keep on on the path that you have consciously taken because if you man if you observe here the five of cups you know there are three cups fallen and spilled down on the suffusing the uh, the icy surface but what the person doesn't recognize is the two cups behind him staying um, up uh, upside upside up uh, which still kind of contain the um, are containing the liquid within if I may uh, express myself that way which means that there are still things that you can enjoy in your life even if you know the current circumstances are not allowing you to feel the fullness of the glee that you can and yet <clears throat> it's, it is a very difficult to explain guys and I'm sorry if you are losing the sense of um, of my interpretations that's why I gave that big example here so you can make it a much more clearer for yourself same things goes for your career you know you may realize that the project you're working upon is a futile therefore you kind of like resigned from it that finishes your cycle of development here which is a completely natural one because either way that project would have been a failure right and you are finding yourself with much more free time to work with right now but what you are to do with that free time this is you are not used to it all right throwing you off your comfort zone and uh, having you know a little bit of a disappointment that you have abandoned a, a positions of comfort here but in the same time you have to keep on moving in the same direction that you have consciously chosen because a, a growth is coming so what we do have all in all without seeing here the uh, guidance which is the prince of wands which generally speaks that you have to um, strain toward uh, or not strain but stride excuse me toward everything new that is thrown to you so we do have here all in all a an ending and a new beginning all right not as big as the death card and the full card so you will still have your environment you will still have your relationship life you will still have your career as well <clears throat> with that being said you will still have things to work for all right and the end goal as i mentioned at the start of the reading it is not yet finished all right so you do you will have your checkpoint to step on but the uh princess of wands here with the princess of cups it is uh, revealing your standpoint so wanting everything new that it is coming in your way and in the same time sitting on the same position so what these cards are pointing all right is that let's continue on the example because this is the best way i can explain them continue on the example by you breaking your relationship with your girlfriend let's say and um, she along the week approaches you and telling you that she will be that she is willing to change all right in order to uh, reconciliate that relationship and this is the thin line here you need to ask for everything new but outside of the frame of the previous work that you have done of the previous uh 
cycle of development. So you end up that relationship and that is the end of it. Nothing more can reconcile it. That is just the example once again. All right. And you have to seek for a, a new person or you need to appreciate a, a new person that is going to come around. And because we do have it here as a guidance, you will not like a, uh, you will not lack, excuse me, not like, but you will not lack a, an options available to jump into a new one in case that is your situation. Same goal project wise, you will not lack a, a project a project into your career to jump to jump into even though you have recently abandoned one but you should not agree to jump into the old my old one just because these standpoints or the circumstances have been uh, a little bit um, differentiate because in reality nothing really had changed and if there is a possibility the old thing to traverse into something positive it's gonna take so much time i cannot even begin to tell you so it is best to seek your happiness into something new so all in all this is the tarot reading so once again because i don't think i did a good job of explaining you the cards so one more time guys you do uh, this week is going to be a result of your realization that uh, you have to approach the situation in a different angle which is a little bit more um <clears throat> I don't know the English word for that, but let's say it is a little bit less mild or on a, a bad circumstances impact, all right? And at the same time, you recognize that approaching the situation from that way is going to give you some negative circumstances, but they are going to be less, uh, much lesser than those that you are suffering right now. Doing it so you are to reach a, a very important cycle of development, which is going to give you a lot of a, a free room to work with. And although you are not used to having that big of a free room for yourself, that is not going to be, uh, or that should not be a prerequisite for you to kind of like, I again forgot the word. Excuse me. Um, to agree to uh, to agree, you know, to agree to reconciliate whatever you have just ended, and instead of that, you should seek for a something new to replace the old thing that you have already put an end to. Right. So literally, this is what the reading is telling. And uh, now we are going to go to the um, Lenormand cards, and what they're going to show us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. All right, so let's see what we got. The first one, this is going to be the bear. And the bear stands for resources, it stands for support, it, st it stands for um, ambition as well and headstrong the next one we do have the mountain the mountain stands for delays it stands for problems it stands for finding another way through all right because you can always go through the mountain or you can always bypass the mountain and the last one that is going to be the book and the book stands for either documents it stands for secret as well it stands for knowledge so what these points here <laughs> it is that the event this week is going to bring you a um, headstrong determination to approach the situation from a different way to bypass the mountain the predicaments based on the knowledge do that you have currently obtained or the revelations that you have reached for yourself as we said here before you decide what to do you have to consider all points of view so you're doing it and you recognize what needs to be done you're doing it and you are reaching that very important cycle of development of yours which gives you much more freedom than these mountains had for you in the recent past so that being said gemini's this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was just a general reading for gemini star sign and it was uh, and uh, therefore it's reson um, it will resonate in a different level for every single different person for every single different gemini so uh in this video i did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread although it was very complex uh reading i hope that i made sense for the most of you and uh if you do want a 
a personal reading just like this one but your situation is going to be on the line here is not going to be on a general one uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and if you go for it don't forget that the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes now are reduced are with reduced costs uh, for the duration of the month of December. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.